My name is Matthew Johnson. I'm a graduate student in anthropology at the University of Pennsylvania. Penn really fit what I was looking for for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, this wonderful museum has collections you know, from excavations dating back to the beginning of the 20th century. I've worked all over the place. I started working in Northwest Indiana um, at my field school, and then I worked uh, after that in Syria. Then I came back and worked in Missouri as a contract archeologist for the highway department there. And then I came back to Penn and resumed my work in Syria. You fly into Damascus, right? And uh, typically your body is all messed up because of the time change. Syria is uh, six hours ahead of us. We came upon this, uh, the outline of a large stone structure, rectangular structure, um, that uh, had these very large stones, maybe this big around, um, defining the, the perimeter, maybe, um, I don't know, 10 feet by 10 feet. We were excited initially because uh, it looked like the outline of a tomb chamber. I recall hearing people exclaiming uh, nearby, and what's funny about that is we have these large, what we call bulks, separating the excavation trenches, um, so maybe two or three meters wide and four or five meters tall. So your friend could be 10 feet away, but there's this massive earthen bulk in between you. So I heard Alice sort of talking excitedly and, and her workmen from the village kind of jabbering away in Arabic really excitedly. And uh, so I stopped and went over and took a look and there was this um, beautiful uh, cranial element sticking out of the ground and right next to it was a nice ribbon of gold, maybe this big. Uh, that just gleamed in the sun and I thought to myself, oh my gosh, we found a, a tomb that hadn't been looted. We dropped the heavy equipment, the big picks and shovels, and picked up uh, the small brushes and small trowels and started going down very, very slowly. And then, uh, then we knew it was a tomb and really went slowly and expanded from that skull. It was just, it was just very exciting. You know, your heart starts beating very rapidly because for every day that you find more broken pottery, more broken mud brick and um, you know, uh, basically uh, mundane artifacts. You get one day like this you know, every lifetime archeologically. So uh, it was really exciting. Clearly the women were the most um, ornately or adorned, which kind of goes against this notion that it was a very um, sort of patriarchal society back in the early Bronze Age. Um, they, were, they were so well furnished that they must have enjoyed some kind of elite status in the society. I'm excited that I, I have the opportunity to go back this summer uh, and continue working in, in my area, which, which personally has turned up uh, three additional tombs um, that I have excavated, and there are probably more sticking out of the wall that we need to, uh, that we need to go after. So um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to try and see what else is around.